Hi everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. We are here for a not too shabby design team project. Coupon code Mary10 for 10% off your order over at the shop. We are going to be playing with this adorable Darcy stamp called Irish Today. Just so cute. So of course I was inspired to make a rainbow. And so I pulled out my Arteza watercolors and I have the Artezas in the tubes. They're fantastic, they're pigmented, they're smooth, love them. And I am going to freehand, I know, freehand a rainbow. And I figured how hard could it possibly be, right? To make a rainbow, you're just putting colors together. You have to have a little bit of a steady hand to do this or else it just starts to be super wonky. But it's fun and it is hand drawn or hand painted. And I think that's part of the charm to this element. I'm gonna go through, this is in real time, and I'm just showing you how I picked the colors. And the previous color is kind of wet still, so this will allow for a little bit of blending together. And I also have my paper really, really flat. If you have your paper on an angle at all, then it's gonna to start to kind of drip down into the next color, which is not the look I was going for. So I have it very flat, I have it taped down, and this way it doesn't go anywhere. So I'm gonna go through here and super speed up the second coat. So I let the first coat dry. By the time I got to the bottom color, it was virtually dry. So I went back and I just added some more color. Again, kind of blending in each of the color into the next one. You'll start to see that you get a lot more vibrancy with that next one. And so um, that's really what I wanted. I wanted a very bright, beautiful rainbow. So I remember living in Hawaii we used to see rainbows everywhere and like full rainbows and sometimes double ones. And so they were probably the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen in real life. <laughs> just stunning. So uh, I kind of wanted to just, I was inspired by that, let's just say. So I'm going to take my stamps here. Now these two images come with this cute little stamp. And I love Darcy because their price point is just so wonderful. And I think it's just super fun to, to get a lot of bang for your buck. And um, I'm gonna stamp out both of these and I'm gonna use that VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink using clear embossing powder, heat setting that, makes it easier for me to color. You've heard that, I'm a broken record, but that's how I like to do it when I use my Arteza markers. So here I'm using this shimmer spritz because I have to have a rainbow that sparkles, okay? It just has to be the way it has to be. And so I'm gonna spritz that and what I love about this shimmer spritz is three sprays and you have sparkle everywhere. It's almost like you took a Nouveau pen or a Spectrum Noir sparkle pen and just covered it, but really you didn't because it was just that much easier. So I'm gonna start coloring here. I'm using Arteza Real Brush pens and I put the colors up there on the screen so you can see what I'm using. Most images will have two colors, a darker and a lighter version. I have the 46 set pack of the Arteza Real Brush pens um, but you could use, you know, whatever you have. You can watercolor this, you can do alcohol markers. I don't recommend heat embossing it if you use alcohol markers. You could use colored pencils, you could use crayons. It doesn't matter, we're here to have fun. I happen to choose this medium. It's one of my favorites. It's the fastest for me to get shading and to get dimensions. So that's why I tend to go to my Artezas. I do own the Zig Real Brush pens as well, and I do love them. Uh, I just don't use them a lot in videos, and you've probably heard me say that. It's not because I dislike them or they don't, I have the 80 set, I think it is, so I have a plethora of colors. It's just that I find them to be a little pricey, and so I would rather show something that is a little bit more affordable for folks if you are trying to build up a stash um, this way you can see how they actually work on the camera and make a decision there if that's something that you wanted to purchase. I do occasionally pull in a Zig marker here or there. I do like the, um, the different uh, kind of skin tones that I get on my Zigs and the pinks. I feel like I have a larger variety of pinks in the Zigs than I do in my 46 set here. However, if you get the 96 set of the Artezas, you're gonna get, obviously, a larger variety of colors. Most recently, the 96 set was on sale for $59, and I posted it on my Facebook. So if you are not, that's a super good deal, by the way. 
<laughs> if you are not following me on Facebook, if you can find me, I'll put it in the description. You could like my page. I don't over post. I usually post when I make a video and when I find a good deal and if there's something that, like big going on, but I don't spam you or anything like that. Um, if you wanted to check that out. Also Instagram, I try to post over there as well. So uh, find me on Instagram. And those are my two main platforms aside from the YouTube. So this way, if I do, because sometimes when I'm linking my products after a video, I will double check on it to make sure it works. And then I'll see like a fantastic deal going on. So um, you don't want to miss those. And recently I found the Wagner heat tool on sale for $18.58 at, on Amazon. I was like, oh, come on. So I posted it on Facebook, but I don't have a large following on Facebook. So I was like, darn it, how do I get to the masses? You need to know about this deal because if you don't have it and you wanted it, well, then was the time. And so I think it, it might still be that price, but I think the highest it goes on Amazon is like $24.99. Still not bad. Um, I did a review video of products that you can get comparable or places to get them cheaper. So check that out as well if you're trying to save a buck. This hobby can be expensive and I have been doing it for 10 years and there has not been a time, well there has been kind of a time that I slowed down, but let's say in the last three years I have been going full throttle and so I need to slow my roll because there's just way too much money that I'm spending on this hobby. It just brings joy to my crafty heart and I need your all of your encouragement to say stop it Mary. <laughs> But anyway, um, so okay, so I'm finishing up coloring this this cute image. If he's just not the cutest little guy you've ever seen, my goodness. So once I get that done, I am going to add some really fun, a really fun element to the beer. I'm taking my snow marker and I'm just gonna tap that along where the beer foam is drawn. You don't wanna go overboard with it, but I get uh, that set up and then you heat it and it puffs up. So how cute is that? This snow marker is not just for snow. I've used it for poodles fur. I've used it for beer cards. I did a different beer card and used it. So just let your mind go crazy. It's just super fun. Um, oh, a bunny's tail. Yes, I can go on, but I won't. So I'm gonna cut this down with my Lawn Fawn uh, rectangle stitch die. Rest in peace, I still can't find you. Um, yeah, it breaks my heart. And I am going to then uh, stamp the sentiment on here. I love ye more than a pot of gold. So cute. And I'm going to use gold embossing powder for that, just so that I can kind of keep with a the theme here. Once I get that um, with the embossing powder, I'm going to heat set it. And there we have that beautiful sentiment heat embossed. Good to go. I cut out with some Lawn Fawn cloud border dies, some vellum and then some gold glitter card stock. And I placed up the vellum just a little bit higher and then the gold uh, clouds a little, like right at the bottom, flush with the bottom. And I thought this was so much fun to do. I did add the vellum clouds just for a little bit more of an oomph, but it didn't overpower anything because vellum, of course, is see-through. I'm gonna pop up his head so that it's even with the gold uh, cloud. And then I'm gonna put some glue on the back some Nuvo Sparkle Pen to add some glitter and shine. And um, then I'm going to get my card base ready. So I have my Nina 110 pound card stock. I have my, um, this is some DCWV shimmer uh, card stock. So it's just got this really pretty shimmer to it. It's not sparkly or glittery. And that's gonna be the mat behind. And I want some fun foam. So to make my life easier, I'm taking this ginormous scrapbook.com roll, which is one of the best purchases I've ever made. You just, I bit the bullet and I got it. It was like 30 something dollars. It's gonna last me 20,000 years. And I'm gonna cover my fun foam with that. I can use the rest of my fun foam for other projects, but it just makes it easy to do it all at once. Taking my Fisker's guillotine trimmer, I'm going to cut that down, which it cuts just fine, smooth. And now I'm gonna have a perfect size to fit behind my panel, my card panel. I'm placing that down. I'm gonna pull off the release paper of my scrapbook.com adhesive. And now I, when I put this down onto my mat, you have that really pretty green background. You don't have to use green fun foam. In fact, you can use whatever color you want. There's a rainbow on the card, so any color would fit. 
and that makes it simple. But now this will be a little bit easier to go through the mail if I send it through the mail. And there we have our card. So that'll do it for this project. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I love chatting with you. I'll list what I used below. Don't forget to head over to Jamie's shop, Not Too Shabby. Check it out. She has a new website up. It's awesome and so many great products. And don't forget the coupon code MARY10 for 10% off your order. We will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.